Hey guys, it's Alice here and today I'll be showing you guys every single magic horse that we have in Star Stable in 2021. On February 1st of 2017, the first set of the three Shire Jorvik Wild Horses, also known as the Windfells now, were added into the game for a limited time of two weeks. These were the blue and black, green and brown and white and pink Windfells. On January 17th of 2018 is when Star Stable added the second set of Shire Windfells, gold, rainbow and orangey purple. Star Stable also added Galloper Thompson's horse in the game on October 24th of 2018, also known as the Orange and Black Windfell. Altogether, we have seven Windfells that were available for this time period. On June 3rd, 2020, Campos and Tolina were released into the game for a limited time of two weeks. They were priced at 850 star coins and have the appearance of a fish. These horses have to be one of my favorite magical horses within Star Stable. I do believe many people were disappointed that they couldn't swim within the water around Jorvik. It was a kind of missed opportunity for Star Stable to do. Unfortunately, they can only swim in Fort Pinta like every other horse. On September 16th of 2020, Dorka and Solus were added into the game for a limited time of two weeks. They were priced at 850 star coins and have a bird-like appearance almost resembling peacock feathers. They have the ability to change like every other magical horse to a non-magical coat which looks just as cool as their funky colouring. A unique feature Dorka and Solus hold are that they both have heavy feathering on their legs. Old Ratch and Faramor are the newest additions to the Magical Horses of Jorvik. They were released on August 11th of 2021 and were limited to the game for three weeks. They were priced at 950 star coins each and had a special movement just like the Frisian horses called the Canter Pirouette. They have an appearance of a dragon which looks stunning up close and you can see all the detailed work as is so put into these one of a kind horses. Let's hope they're available again for newer players in the future. The Nixies, also known as the Jorvik Wild Magic Horses, were the first ever horses chosen and made by the SSO community. Each player would enter into a competition and Star Stable would choose the three winning horses to add them to the game. The contest ended on May 8th of 2016 and the winners were announced on May 25th of 2016. They were added in the game on June 8th of 2016 for a limited time of one week for 399 star coins. These horses closely resembled the Icelandic horses and were released in three different colors, blue, purple, gray, and red and black. They have the ability, like every other magical horse, to change back into a non-magical coat. I've spoken about the bar carts in one of my videos before and didn't actually do my proper research that much, but I have come to an understanding that these horses will never return to SSO due to a copyright issue with an artist, unfortunately. The bar carts were added to the game on June 26 of 2019 and they were available for four weeks only. Priced at 950 star coins, these amazing tree moving horses were just one of a kind. They also had a signature move called the PF that they could only perform. The amazing Tomb Hoof was added into Star Stable on October 21st of 2020. This horse was added into the Halloween event for a limited time only. I'm pretty sure we will be seeing this horse return again this year. They are priced at 950 star coins and have three special movements called the reigning spin, the reigning slide stop and the reigning backing up. These are exclusive to the American Quarter Horse model. Hedron has to be the best magical horse that Star Stable has ever created. This horse was released on December 2nd of 2020 and stayed in the game for a limited time until the Christmas event ended. Hedron was priced at 850 star coins and has the ability to perform a special gate called the Curly Shuffle. This horse's unique appearance sure did blow away some players and I can't wait to see him again this year. The Fonsi was added into SSO on December 11th of 2019. 
This was the second magical Christmas horse that we would receive in game along with the Brinkle. The Fonsi was priced at 950 star coins and has a special move called the Spanish Walk. I feel as if the name Fonsi was intentional as it kind of sounds like something from Despacito. <laughs> The Brinicle, also known as the Foal Unicorn, was added into the game on December 12, 2018 and was limited to the Christmas event. They have a unique feature where they have feathers on their legs and let's not forget the time that Star Stable teased this horse and everyone thought it was a unicorn. Spoilers, it wasn't. <laughs> They were priced at 599 star coins and have been available every Christmas event so far. Ernie's and Petra were added into Star Stable on March 3rd, 2021 and were priced at 750 star coins. They have unique feathering on both their legs and resemble runestones and mossy rocks. They have the ability, like every other magical horse, to change back into non-magical coats, but their eye colour does not change. Isla and Umbra were added into Star Stable on March 25th of 2020 and were limited to the game for two weeks. They were priced at 950 star coins and have a special movement called the Spanish Walk. Like other magical horses in Jorvik, Isla and Umbra show their true colours in wild places and will change back to non-magical codes in populated areas. Woody and Pepita were released on October the 23rd of 2019 and were limited to the Halloween event for a limited time only. They are priced at 850 star coins. Woody has an appearance similar to a bar cart horse, while Pepita is inspired by a pumpkin. That's a good opportunity to call it pumpkin spice. <laughs> On June 19th, 2019, the Texas Bluebell was added into Star Stable to the Midsummer event. Available for a limited time only, you could buy your very own blue maned North Swedish horse. This horse doesn't have any special movements or features, but does come with a story quest within the game. Vega was released into SSO on the 29th of January 2020 and is priced at 550 star coins. This horse is not limited like other horses on the list and is here to stay. You can find Vega next to Yidris but have to complete a quest with Mario before you can purchase this gorgeous horse. The Zoni was added into Star Stable on November 28th, 2018. It is available after you complete a quest with Yidris and is priced at 550 star coins. The Rune Runner quests were added into SSO on March 25th of 2020. This will make this the first free horse that Star Stable was giving out in the game, but you really needed to work for it. On average, it took players maybe three to four months to complete the reputation set. Along the way, you would receive lore books and some goodies for your horse and your character, such as clothes and other things. I don't know if I would consider Rune Runner to be a magic horse, but since it's tied with the whole druid thing and star breeds, I think it's safe to say that this could be on the list. I don't know if Spirit is considered a magic horse, but I put him on the list just because he doesn't look like any other natural horse, just like the Room Runner. Spirit came to Jorvik on May 10th of 2017 and was priced around 699 star coins. Instead of buying Spirit with star coins, you had to pay star coins in order to buy an apple that you would later on tame him with. He has a special movement that all Mustangs in SSO have, which is called the Buck. So we don't have much information on the birthday horse, but this will be the second free horse that Star Stable will be giving their players. What we do know is this horse will be released sometime in October around Star Stable's birthday. The only reason I'm putting this horse in the magical category is because this horse doesn't look like a natural horse at all, as it has rune markings along its snout. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if I actually missed any magical horses. I really hope I didn't because this took me a very long time to search up everything. <laughs> I would also like to say thank you guys so much for 5,000 subscribers. I never knew I could, like, we could get to this point. Like, it is just 
crazy like what <laughs> but I will be posting another video later on about that soon so stay tuned for that one so anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like and subscribe if you guys are new here and I'll see you guys all in the next video goodbye